Hi, I'm Jeff Farley. I own Custom Restoration Incorporated in Fairfield, California. I've been in business uh, now 27 years. Started off uh, mom and pop with a carpet cleaning business and expanded into restoration and then added uh, the construction component. For work. So now we're full service general contractors and do mitigation as well as reconstruction repairs primarily in the insurance market and primarily residential. Uh, we do some light commercial and uh, we have a mix of, uh, we, we serve a 30 or 40 mile radius here in the North and East Bay. I became acquainted with Greg Neal. Uh, I know a lot of uh, people in the industry and consultants and a friend of mine suggested I talk to this fellow after I stopped by for lunch one day and he said, I'm, I'm just working part time in my business now. And I said, oh really? And he said, yeah, you know, two or three days. I said, that's where I want to get to. That really piqued my interest. Because I've been labored under the old paradigm that an owner in the restoration industry had to work about 50 hours a week. And I'd been doing that for years and sometimes much more than that. And so the idea that I could, uh, you know, have more free time to do some of the other things I'm interested in and some other businesses and uh, anyway, a lot of other things. So that's what led me to Greg. Uh, this friend of mine, it's also a contractor, uh, brought him over and introduced me and that's been a couple of years now and what's transpired then has definitely changed my business and the way I operate and led to uh, a lot more uh, opportunity and uh, some, some fun options for me. So how we did that was uh, Greg, what separates Greg I think from a lot of other people is he's not just a business consultant on your thing, but his coaching and his um, approach to what you, not just what you do, but how you do it and how you communicate that helped me get over a hump and the hurdle I had. I'm very demanding of myself and therefore I was of others and I didn't even realize how sometimes things came across. But you know, when you're the boss, not too many people sometimes will tell you that. So in a, in a pretty supportive and, and uh, gentle way, although we had our uh, differences at times, he was able to kind of get me to see that in a, in a different way. And I don't know, maybe I was ready for it, they say when a, when a student's ready, the teacher will appear. But at any rate, it wasn't overnight and it wasn't easy. But after, you know, probably six to eight months of it with some turmoil and some turnover that we had to go through with people that didn't want to be accountable, we found that when we got the right team in place, people that were motivated and that wanted to be uh, uh, held accountable and to grow, uh, I could not have to do so much myself. I could hold people accountable and, and the key has been getting others to take ownership to where now I'm not only not working two or three days in the business, but I'm only one day a week in my business and I have another opportunity where I run another company the other four days of the week so I didn't use my free time to play or goof off but it's, it's led to some other opportunities and the nice thing is is in spite of that our business has grown uh, it's been a difficult economy the last two years and we've had our struggles but still uh, I've been pleased that in one day a week I can maintain and even increase my my uh, volume and uh, in, in a lot of respects I've improved the quality of what we do without me having to be hands-on and uh, doing it better like you think only an owner can do. So I recommend Greg for anyone that's looking to get ownership in their team and work less and, uh, and develop a culture that holds people accountable and uh, it's a great, great experience to have. I hardly recommend it.